What's up guys? Welcome back to Crypto Future. Not financial advisor, it's not financial advice. Make sure you guys are doing your research, okay? Uh, so I'm just late at the office today, sitting uh, sitting here. Finance manager, so fun stuff, right? Anyways, um, I just wanted to come on and have a chat with you guys about, uh, about preparing for uh, selling and the, the bear market, or the bull market, I mean. Um, I get asked all, all the time about, you know, how to best prepare for that, uh, when to take profits and things like that. So for me personally, guys, what I do is uh, I, I DCA out the same way that I DCA in, right? So if I'm if I'm waiting for, let's say, HBAR, I'll, I'll use HBAR as an example here. So I think HBAR is going to go to about, uh, we're going to be around $2, between $1.50, $2 in my opinion, right? Um, conservatively. So what I would do is around 77 cents, let's say, right? I would DCA out my first like 10%. I would take uh, 10% out. Uh, and then... You know, I, I would wait for it to go up. Now, the reason that I select 77 cents is you can't set your sell orders for round numbers. I would not recommend that because uh, they're psychological numbers. And then everybody's like, for a dollar, for let's say a dollar, for example, you can't go, I'm going to sell everything uh, at a dollar for HBAR or Gala or Jasmine or whatever's Caspo, you know, whatever it is, right? You can't say I'm going to sell it all, all at a dollar. It's such a sell order for a dollar because everyone is trying to sell it at a dollar. It's a psychological level. So you want to set it, you know, you want to DCA your way out. You don't want to try to uh, sell everything at once either. So I'm going to sell 10% at like 77 cents, right? And then I'll wait for like 98 cents and I'll set another sell order. Then I'll wait for like a dollar 23 and then I'll set another sell order. 10%, right? 10% out. You're, and then, so your average is going to be, you know, a little over a dollar if, if you're DCAing uh, all the way up to $1.50, $2, whatever, right? Um, that way you're not stuck because like look what happened with doge for example when every you know Everybody thought doge was gonna go to a dollar and everybody was gonna sell at a dollar That's like 70 something cents and then it just plummeted and nobody like no nobody took profits because they're waiting for a dollar You can't do that, right? You got to DCA your way back out You know 10% at a time or 25% at a time whatever it is that you're gonna do You got to set your sell orders and another piece of it. Uh, well, I wouldn't say advice. It's not financial advice but another thing that I would do is if you're if you're looking at uh, multiple uh, multiple projects, then you want to DCA. You want to use different exchanges. You want to have multiple exchanges set up. You don't want to try to take all your liquidity from every project out of uh, like one exchange, whatever you're using, whether it's Binance or KuCoin or BitTrue or you know whatever it is, right? So that's what you want to do you want to take your profits that way use multiple exchanges uh don't don't get stuck in rush hour traffic is what i call it right uh don't do that to yourself um dc out of multiple exchanges multiple uh, at multiple price points um and make sure you're set up for it uh what are you going to do like what what is your plan for your profits yeah if you if you if you fail the plan you plan to fail right what are you going to do with your money are you going to Put it into stablecoin and and just hold it through the bear market, stake it or something. Uh, you know, are you are you gonna take it out to your bank account uh, and make sure that you're paying your taxes and stuff like that? Like, what's your plan? Are you buying a vehicle? Are you you know, if you don't plan when you have that kind of money, then you'll end up losing all that money, right? That's what they say about people who win the lottery, for example. The they're not ready to be rich because they don't have a plan for their money and they end up blowing it all their poor inside of a year again, right? Don't do that to yourselves. Make a plan, right? What are you going to do? How much are you going to put aside? Are you going to put it into RRSPs? Are you going to, you know, uh, put it into uh, properties? Are you, you know, are you going to buy yourself a vehicle? Um, you know, are you going to start a business? Like, wh what are you going to do? You got to have a plan in place, right? It's never too early to be ready. So just remember that, guys. Um, again, if you fail the plan, you plan to fail, right? So that, that's just my thoughts on it kind of thing. I'll be back uh, later tonight. I might try to do a live stream, guys. I might try to do one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. You want me to do a live stream? Make sure you guys are subscribing. Like, guys, I woke up this morning. I had about, we had about 350 subs, right? 
I came to the office and I just checked the subs and we're at, we, we went up like 40 or 42 subs or something like that in a few hours. It's absolutely bananas, you guys. Make sure you're hitting the sub, subscribe button there, uh, like it, uh, comment down below and uh, look out because I'll probably do a live stream this evening. I'll schedule one and we'll see who's interested. I'm going to gauge the interest, so let me know in the comments. And then I'm going to schedule it for a couple hours in advance and let me know if you guys are, you know, if you guys are going to tune in. And if I get enough people tuning in, then we'll do a live stream tonight. So let's, let's go, boys. Like and subscribe. Talk to you guys later tonight.